Hey, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to take the time to uh, answer some of the questions from the last video. First off, we have uh, from Toolhead. Been following your channel for a long time. You have big improvements on your solar system. I'm planning to do the same thing, run a 5000 BTU for a big doghouse I'm building. I have a set of Harbor Freight solar panels and Ford Trojan 105. Got zero gauge, still in process of buying an inverter. Thank you for making these videos. Well, thank you, Toolhead, for the comments, and uh, uh, hopefully if you're going to buy an inverter, you're going to go to Pure Synwave or one of the other new ones that I was recommended. Uh, for Jason, what's up with the silly f music? Well, the silly music is copyright free, uh, and it I got it from the YouTube library, and it's kind of a filler for the, uh, for the high-speed video. This is a question from John. I'm just wondering, you said you're gonna need a huge amount of equipment to run the AC on solar power like you wanted to. You can't do that in that house because you, you're you gonna get busted. Yeah, well, we do not rent the house, we own the house. Uh, it's the the property, the, the um, land that we rent, and we're not allowed to have uh, a lot of things on the external of the house, like we can't uh, have a window unit sticking out the window of the house. Uh, can't have all these wires coming down either. And we cannot have a vegetable garden. It has to be only, um, only plants like flowers and bushes and things like that. And they have to be neatly trimmed. So yeah, there's a lot of regulations here. So this one is from Akamu. Uh, what about using auto capacitors? Made extreme system 4,000 watts. That should do it. Well, I will look that up because uh, like I said, I'm pretty new at this whole solar system game and uh, yeah I'm still learning and uh, the way that I learned how to fix a lot of the issues with my uh, with my system is by the comments so thank you Akmu I will be looking that I do will be doing some research on that and the next comment is you are not running off solar you're running off the batteries yes that's correct I didn't think that that needed an explanation uh, but yeah, I am running off the batteries and I'm using the solar to recharge the batteries. And no, 150 watts of solar is not enough to run the AC unit alone. I'm running off the batteries and then using the solar to recharge it and help uh, maintain the charge a little bit as it's going. Uh, this next comment is from Sir Anthony. Wants subs, refuses to answer anyone dislike for the video. Well, it's not that I refuse to answer anybody. It's... Um, it has been a time issue because I uh, have a full-time job and I also have kids and other responsibilities to take care of besides uh, doing videos so yeah I will try to respond to the comments as quickly as possible but like I said I got a lot of other things going on so apologize for the wait so this one is for K-Rock it would take approximately a dollar sixty a day or around two hundred fifty dollars a year to run five thousand BTU air conditioner during the summer months what would re the return on the best investment be with what you have spent setting up the system and I'm sorry about the background noise too this is one of the reasons why it takes me so long to answer questions kids crying in the background and things well this question I actually do not have the answer to right now because I haven't done the math on the five thousand BTU air conditioner uh, that's, that wasn't my original goal when I when I set up the system. My original goal was uh, we were, this house gets really hot during the summer and if we run the air conditioner it gets way too expensive. So my original goal was to save money running bigger units. Uh, uh, that's not gonna happen with Harbor Freight solar panels and the Harbor Freight system. Uh, I think the Harbor Freight system is mainly to run uh, TV and, and all that. So yeah, I will try to uh, do some calculations on the 5000 BTU air conditioner and I will put them up uh, possibly on the comment or in the in the description of the um, 5000 BTU test. Okay this next one is from Monroe and this is a comment. You're taking 576 watts out and only putting 150 back in. It will take a, you a week to recharge the batteries after after they are dead for in a few hours. Also, 12.5 volts is full charge. 12 12 volt is dead is a dead battery. Anything under 12 volts is a damaged battery. So, this actually took me uh, one full day to uh, get the batteries back to full charge. 
so one full um, sunny day so I don't I don't know what it says on the paper um, but yeah with the Harbor Freight solar panels it took me one full day to come back from that uh, from the dead battery and this next question is from Clyde uh, did you miss something how long could you run the AC before uh, the battery bank fell to 12.4 volts um, I believe I stated in the during the video that I made a mistake by plugging in too many solar panels into the charge controller which uh, kind of blocked the the power from going back into the batteries so because of that I um, I fell below 12.4 pretty fairly quickly maybe like in uh, five minutes and I didn't want to wait a whole day to retake the video because yes it takes a whole day to uh, recharge the batteries so I took a part of the video one day and then the next day I did uh, the other half of the video uh, so the, yeah the battery was not fully charged both times uh, I made the mistake the first day and then the battery was not fully charged the next day and I did it again I did the test again so both times it fell below uh, 12.4 like I wanted it uh, I wanted it to stay above 12.4 but yeah you're gonna need a lot more than just Harbor Freight solar panels to do that and this next comment is from piss poor for professional uh, this guy is with, withholding info. He doesn't seem to understand much, and I think he's trying to get a Chinese tool store to send him free tools with his repeated soul selling. Nice. So, um, yeah, I stated this before that uh, I'm new to this solar game because this is not my profession. I, I just barely got this uh, system about a year ago. And I haven't had the money to reinvest, so I'm doing more and more tests with Harbor Freight solar panels. That's the only reason why I'm using Harbor Freight solar panels right now. Otherwise, I'd be uh, going to get some uh, over 300 watt panels. Uh, another reason is that, like I said, I can't uh, put those big panels on this roof right now. And yeah, I'm just I'm going to be doing different tests with the Harbor Freight solar panels and with the equipment that I have until my income increases. Uh, the situation right now has been pretty tight, so that's the way it is and no I am not trying to get Harbor Freight uh, to send me free stuff they uh, I actually have affiliate links with uh, Amazon and eBay where I have where I put up links to get their product so there's links up on my sites to get Renergy there's links up on my sites to get uh, things from eBay what you'll find on my website, uh, which I'll be leaving a link up in the comments, or I mean, I'm sorry, in the description below. Some of the comments are pretty rough on Harbor Freight solar panels too. I don't think that they're the best panels, but they, they're actually working pretty decent. From what I've noticed that they're pretty efficient uh, with low light as well. But I have not tried, like I said, I have not tried Renergy and I have not tried other solar panels and I'm looking forward to testing those out uh, when I get my hands on them. So the 5000 BTU test was mainly to show that the potential for running an air conditioner on solar power is there. Of course, you need more equipment than the equipment that I've had. Um, it, it would be a lot better if you had more solar power and uh, uh, the, the battery bank is pretty decent. Yes, there's better batteries out there. Uh, that's That's been in the comments a lot. Uh, there's better solar panels out there. There's 310 watt solar panels. There's 370 watt solar panels. You can get to run it. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. And there's better inverters out there for you. But the potential and the basic connections are all legitimate. I mean, it's uh, that that's pretty much what the test was meant to show. And yes, it will be practical. It won't it won't be practical to run air conditioners on Harbor Freight solar panels because that would be too expensive. Uh, that's Harbor Freight solar panels are mainly for running TVs. Uh, definitely not heaters. It, I got a comment on there about heaters. Uh, you're probably going to need to run bigger panels on your um, RV in order to do that, and you're going to need a bigger battery bank than what I had. So. Uh, I hope I answered a lot of your questions. I think I got to uh, all of them. Some of them were the same questions. So, uh, thank you for watching RF Tech Guy. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
and uh, I'll be trying to do more tests with uh, different solar panels like Renergy and things like that and yeah thank you for watching oh yeah I will be leaving a link as well to um, my website and uh, links uh, as always to some Renergy solar panels and some um, wires and, and Synwave inverters MPPT charge controllers you know different things so thank you